return it from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. It's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive of your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield. How about the adrenaline and aggressiveness that led his eyes to the backfield to run up there and make that tackle. Setting a tone early for his defense. Give them 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Shotgun now for Brady. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. William Golston in on the stop. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Brady to throw. He's got his big tight end, Gronkowski. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. And he stopped immediately there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for him. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. Touchdown, Cowboys! Harold Carmichael from 19 yards away. And the Cowboys are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Brett Maher on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They want to zoom and pass that number there. They pick up 11 in addition to moving the chains. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. Back with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Garden. The offense already on the field here to begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. 
They'll run it again with Barkley. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They'll drop to throw. Being chased out left. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. We hear them discuss red zone efficiency a lot, CD, and they almost gave that one up in the red zone. Luckily, they'll have another shot. And you and I both know that every offensive coordinator, play caller in the league, they take particular delight in their red zone calls because those are the payoff ones. But you can't call a play if your team doesn't have the ball. Got to secure it. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Butker's kick here is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So from an offensive perspective, at least able to get on the board here right in front of the two-minute warning. Yeah, now it's time to talk about complimentary football, isn't it? Because if the defense can force a three and out, there could be enough time on the clock that they can get the ball back for their offensive guys and maybe put some more points on the board before the half. Pulls it in at the 13. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. McCaffrey running up the middle, and he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Brady looking to throw on third and two. Looking for Gronkowski, and it's intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. It just appeared there that the defense, they had that red from the moment the ball was snapped. And not only did they get the interception, add a nice return on top of it, all the way to the end zone for a defensive touchdown. Yeah, and the guy made the play. He gets the points. But it really was a group effort, wasn't it? How about the coaches? They've got to be so excited. All the preparation, time in the film room. It translated into a big play that put points on the board for their team. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. The PAT up and good, but hold on a second. There is a flag. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Hey, set. Now Brady to try again after the pick six. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. He did a fine job there not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. 
He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Brady. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down. Then a near sack, they got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback, because that was awfully close. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll be a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Saquon Barkley deep to return. And they won't get a chance to bring this one back. It goes out of bounds, back near their own 20. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And leading 10-7, and they may just want to get this to the locker room. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. His second catch, this one not quite as dynamic as his first, and it's second down. He'll look to throw. He's got a man complete. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. He'll drop to throw. Looking for Gronkowski, and it's intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. Ah, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he's going to lose yardage, not that it matters, as the final seconds tick away. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. A good, tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Now this game it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. They'll go to Barkley again, and he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. 
Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Good clean play. No plans coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Ready. They'll try and throw for it here. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. And a great return. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. This one taken just inside the 10. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. formation left first play and a first throw for Rodgers and incomplete to open things up well sometimes the defense just beats you great coverage from the secondary all of them in the proper position so instead of trying to throw into tight coverage he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down To throw again on second down. Rodgers setting up the screen here. Aaron Jones. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And able to find Alan Lazard. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And Rodgers is going to go down. He's sacked. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Rodgers and to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Escaping the pressure right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tough rule being gone? Makes defenses a lot bolder. Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm is going forward. Incomplete pass. Rodgers to throw for it on four. 
Forced out to his left. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. Come on, come on. Hey. And they'll begin by running the option. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, the risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down at the 32-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Butker's kick here is good, and that'll make it 3-0 here in the first. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. To the field goal. Here's Butker to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they want to do is play off the momentum the defense gave them. Only giving up the three points in that situation after they failed on fourth down. Now they want to make it pay off. They want to pay homage to the defense and have their own drive pay off the points for themselves. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left to throw on second and ten. Rodgers eluding the pressure right. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Throwing now is Rodgers. This one swung out here to Jones. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And it'll be a turnover on downs. A first down carry for Barkley. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. A good gain of 12 yards that time. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. Great effort by Ted Hendricks defensively. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Behind the chain, second and thirteen. Up the middle with Barkley, and he gets it down close to the ten-yard line. Call it an eight. 
nine-yard pickup, and it'll be third down. Well, you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. He dumps it off to Barkley. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. It'll go as a gain of 4. And that'll bring up 4th down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a play? And it's caught. Touchdown. Rob Gronkowski. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Harrison Bucker is on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And able to get this out to the 25. The offense now at the line ready for their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Now Rodgers. He has it complete to Christian Watson. Second and six, just inside the 30. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. From the 29, Rodgers, the left side completion to Jones. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Slot man moves right. Here's Rodgers to throw. And that's knocked away and incomplete. That's not the first time they've gone his way on this drive, and they were obviously keyed into him because they were there to help break that pass up. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll try the right side here, Barkley. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. With Sean Gary that time through the line and getting the tackle for loss. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0 our score. First play of the drive, lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now back to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. Jair. 
So this defense coming up with a takeaway, and maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. Well, I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true, but you're right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys, really, on either side of the ball. So maybe that's the catalyst that they needed to get them back into this game. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Well, after incompletions on first and second down, it certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former first-rounder, Jimmy Ward. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Well, their defense got them the football with an interception. They trot out their Charles in the very first play. They give the football right back. <laughs> Brand, I almost expect you coming like an auctioneer. We've got two, we got two. Do I hit three? Remember, it was two in a row. Would we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they've got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. <laughs> Throwing is Rodgers. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're just going to pick up a holding call. Third and long, it's Rodgers. Buying time to his left. He finds Watson complete. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. And the slot man goes in motion left. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scambling. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. A first and 10 here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game in half that might provide a psychological boost. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. And again, it's Rodgers. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. In motion goes the tight end. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. Rolling to his left. They'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And the tight end goes in motion left. Rodgers now on first down. 
A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, what looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. Throw left side complete. That's Jones. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Now it's Rodgers. And it's caught. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Ten nothing is our score as we get started again on EA Sports. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And despite the turnovers, Charles, and they had multiple in that first half, they still have the lead as they begin this third quarter. And they probably heard some conflicting tones at the half, don't you think? A lot of praise for what they did to get this lead, but also a little bit of scolding because they got to take better care of the football in the second half. But you and I both know the great leaders, they know how to give that little bit of vinegar in there and cover it with a big dose of honey. And he'll be stopped up at the 26 after a gain of only a couple. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. Beckham the return. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what do we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. So when's the best time to take the big shots downfield? When you think a defense least expects it, and I think the first play of the third quarter qualifies. They came right out firing. That's how you send a message to start the second half of a game. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. But look what we have here, a sustained drive, and that was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football. But right now, they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. Open man, this is Lewis. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Over 30 yards there. And first downs on three consecutive plays now. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Dancing to his left. 
And that's incomplete. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. On play action, now Rodgers. And he's got it. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. So it's third and goal now. This is where the KC crowd can make it very tough. Rodgers now on third and goal. Touchdown, Mercedes Lewis. A two-yard touchdown grab. And his guys have made this a one-score game now. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. After the touchdown, on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. Taken in at the three. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. They get to complete to Anquan Bolden. And they work this well upfield across the 35. That's a gain of 31 with right around one minute to go in the quarter. As we've seen over the years, offense coordinators will often ease their way into drives. Many of them don't want to risk a turnover or put their defense in a bad spot, but not in this case. Not at all. Forget about easing into it. They took a shot. It worked. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. That one good for 14 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but... There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. When you run in the slant, timing is everything, and against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Butker's kick here is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. 
For the offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers. Two yards, good enough for a first. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Rodgers now on first down. This one swung out here to Jones. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They pick up 12 on the play, and the chains move. To throw, it's Rodgers. They'll let it go deep for Beckham. And this will be broken up and incomplete. Now a penalty flag down, and they may be going backward here. Uh, he's trying to protect his quarterback's blind side. Got nabbed for the hole. You have one job over there. Make sure that man does not get hit. So if you have to hold occasionally, do so because they don't catch all of them. This time they did. Now Rodgers. Steps away to his left. Man open here is Jones. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he's got some space here. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold him. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 23 yards, the final tally. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. Back to throw, Rodgers. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. To throw is Rodgers. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And he's gonna get this down near the 25. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Yes, yes. Now Rodgers. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Gotta have this one. He's gonna air one out. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And he'll be taken down, although there is a flag down. Will this stand? 
Wait a second, they declined the penalty? I'm as puzzled as you are, partner. I don't understand how any time you lose possession of the ball, yet you turn down a penalty that would give you possession back? Now let's make this simple. Anyone who plays the game, take the football. Always take the football. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Running again with Barkley on second down. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Looking to throw. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And that will come the offense as they take over. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. And he'll have another first down as he gets out of bounds as well to stop the clock. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Rodgers to throw. Oh, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with a clock.